My name is Don Mazir from Mazir Enterprises. Today we're going to show you the benefits of installing an electric water pump on a late model vehicle. Our WP329 offers better low speed cooling, better horsepower at high RPMs, and the ability to cool your engine when it's shut off. So let's get to the install. Ready to get started on your project, you'll need just the basic hand tools, something to remove the band clamp, tool for the tensioner on the belt, and you'll also need the appropriate socket and extension to remove the main water pump bolt. That's it. When you're ready to begin the installation of the Mazir pump, you'll need a basic set of hand tools. Uh, we'll be using the wrench and the socket for installation of the relay, just a bolt and nut. You'll also need a, a few Allen wrenches to take care of the socket head cap screws that will hold both the idler and the main bolts on the water pump and a little bit of thread compound to uh, make sure the bolts are retained properly. Okay, once your factory pump's been removed from the engine, there's a little bit of work to do to prepare the Mazir pump to go into the engine bay. There are basically three items that we need to take care of. The first is the factory thermostat housing. What we're gonna do is remove this housing and then using the factory hardware, we're gonna put it right onto the Mazir pump. The second item that we will need to do is to remove the factory tensioner and then we're going to put this tensioner onto the Mazir pump. In order to make it compatible with the Camaro configuration, we'll be using this spacer supplied with the kit and we'll be using the socket head cap screws that are also supplied with the kit. And the third item that we'll need to do is to prepare the bolt hardware and the spacers and gaskets. These spacers are designed to align the idler properly with the factory belt routing one item that you want to pay attention to is the retention of the wire as it exits the pump. You want to make sure that wire stays safe and out of the way of uh, any belt routing. One last item that you'll want to address is the connection of the heater and bypass hose. The pump will come to you with those two ports plugged, but if you're putting this pump in a factory type vehicle where there is a heater in place and a bypass hose, you'll want to install these two supplied nipples. Those are in the kit. Uh, pay special attention because there's one smaller than the other and the smaller one goes closest to the engine block per the factory configuration. And with that, your pump is ready to go on the car. This pump can be installed as a one-man operation, but it might be helpful to have an extra set of hands to help you support the pump as it's being bolted to the block. One of the special functions of the Mazir is that it retains the factory belt. The routing of the belt is the same as factory. You just have an idler instead of the belt driving the water pump. All right, once your pump is installed, we're ready to do the wiring. Don't let that intimidate you. It's a fairly straightforward procedure. For factory type installations, we recommend the use of a 30 amp relay the relay will require four wire connections. There's a large power supply to the relay. There's a trigger wire coming from your fuse box, an identified ignition source. There's a wire that is grounded, and there's a wire that's used as the power to the water pump. The lid to the fuse box has been slightly modified to provide room for that trigger wire, so we put a little slot to allow clearance where the trigger wire exits the box so that you don't pinch that wire. The other modification is a little bit of plastic removal here where the main power and the trigger wire exit down next to the big power lead to the fuse box. With those wires in place, your wiring is complete. Okay, we're ready for the last step of the installation and that's to fill it with coolant. In order to do that, you may want to use one of these vacuum coolant filling assist tools available at most shops or any tool retailer. We have had a great day of testing here at West Tech Performance. We've installed our WP329 and proven horsepower gains. We've proven better stability with our cooling system temperatures. We now have the ability with this vehicle to cool the engine with it shut off. 
uh, we have shown you how simple this installation really is. It's just a few bolts onto the engine itself, ties into your factory belt routing. The electrical system can tie right into your factory system. It's simple, it's easy, it's clean, and an excellent performance upgrade for your vehicle. We'd like to thank West Tech Performance for the use of their facilities. We'd also like to thank Bob Harris for the use of this beautiful 2010 Camaro.